Hakan or Jim and Huck talk Star Wars. <laughs> no, no, no. Huck and Jim like chase that feeling. Chase that feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Huck and Jim Chase That Feeling is the name of our eventual podcast tour. Hi everybody, I'm Jim. I'm Ryan. And this is the Concept Crucible Podcast. And it's 2017! It is 2017. A and brave new year, brave new futures. And we didn't change our clothes between the last episode and this episode. Shut up. Don't tell them. The listeners didn't know until you told them. Nah, it's okay. No, it's true. It is actually 2016 here where we are because... Ryan's going to be gone all Christmas. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we were filming. But we are also setting up for our 2017 challenges. So, yeah. last year, 2016, we uh, did our challenges. And mm-hmm. we did a check-in. And we did a finale, or like a sort of mm-hmm. final episode. Um, and it seemed like a really fun way to frame the year. And try and get some stuff done. And try and push ourselves. Uh, especially given that our very first episode ever was on self-improvement. Mm-hmm. But, so this year we're going to do some different challenges and we're going to sort of step up our game Mm -hmm. in some respects and step down our game in others. Mm -hmm. Um, So, before we get to that, Icebreaker, what is a challenge that you rejected for this year? Now, Ryan, of course, never met a challenge that he doesn't fucking like. Apparently. Um, Yeah, I have... You have like 40! Yeah, we'll talk about the challenges that I might be doing in a second, but... um... I think I think if I if there is a challenge that I'm going to reject for next year, I'm rejecting it on the the principle that it um, it's too ill defined. It doesn't achieve the actual goal that it's ostensibly supposed to be about, um, and it's just something that I haven't committed to yet. So I don't have any belief that I would I would actually anything would change in my behavior. It's true. Um, Ryan's finally giving up on catching them all. Yeah. So. The rejected challenge, I would say I had briefly thought maybe of making this a, a concrete goal for next year um, would be to actually abide, so I have a Fitbit, um, abide by the 10,000 step count rule per day. Because that's the kind of goal is it, if you hit 10,000 steps, that's your your daily you know, grind out. It's depending on your pace, it's about 10 kilometers. Well, for me it is because my, my stride's about a meter long, right? <laughs> It's, God. Yeah, it's it, it all depends. Where do you find the time to walk 10 kilometers? I mean, admittedly, you walk, like, you stand and walk at work. Uh, a little bit. Well, at the bar, yeah. On bar nights, it's easy for me to do that. Um, at the college, a little bit less so. I have to park a little bit further away. Um, I need to drink a lot of coffee so that every hour on the hour, I'm getting up to go to the washroom. God. But, but for the most part, uh, yeah, on in an average day, I'm not hitting the 10,000 steps right now. And I've had the Fitbit, so I've had it since, um... This country is winter! November. What do you do? Just to, like, go out and freeze to death and then come, and then, like, bring yourself back to life and come back in? Something like that. Um, I've had it since November 2015, uh, so I've had it for a full year now. And having the Fitbit has not materially changed my behavior in terms of steps. Okay. Um, so the answer is you don't. That makes me feel better. Yeah, in in and of itself, it did not make me walk more. Um, it did for the first little bit, you know, because it's a new thing. What I use the Fitbit primarily for is to track sleep and to track heart rate at the gym, because it's an approximation for how much, uh, how hard I'm working when I when I lift weights. Um, but it is not really a reliable indicator of uh, like I'm not a cardiovascular kind of guy. I mean, I am because I. F- my body physiologically Ryan is a skeleton for our <laughs> listeners <laughs> Ryan has been a skeleton this whole time yeah so physiologically I am a cardio man but from a, from an exercise point of view I'm not a particularly uh, strong advocate of, of cardiovascular um, exercise um, and so yeah I just found that uh, if I were to make this a goal it would not it would not materially um, impact my actual goals like any health and fitness goals that i want to have Mm -hmm. um because i already am walking sufficiently it's it's not like i'm completely sedentary where any kind of activity would would be positive for me in this case i'm already lightly semi-active even before going to the gym so then therefore it's not going to change anything um and the changes that i do want to make go far beyond simply walking i was gonna say like if something is if, like if your cat is lightly semi active, mm-hmm. your cat is asleep. Mm-hmm. Like that's lightly semi active is how I would describe a cat who is asleep 
most of the time. <laughs> well, well, you know, he's, he's slightly semi-active. Yeah. Between the hours of 3 and 5 in the morning. I hear cats are usually awake at that time. Yes, they run, are. Running around. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so you've rejected your step challenge. Yeah, I, I think um, I, I flirted with it briefly that it would be a nice quantifiable goal, but I just don't think it is something worth pursuing. There are much better uses of my time than doing that. Okay. Yeah. So um, mine is a little more complicated. Ryan never met a challenge he doesn't like. I have met too many challenges that I don't like. <laughs> um so like I do lots of stuff I edit videos I make videos I write music I play music at places I work I volunteer I volunteer more I I don't know I lose track I write for a couple of different blogs I don't know I'll put them in the show notes or something mm-hmm. um, I do stuff I like stuff and one of the things I struggle with when it comes to challenges is the the like like I talked in the in the fina- in, in the challenge podcast last year about how it gives me the opportunity to forgive myself and persevere and I like that, mm-hmm. um, but at the same time I th- I feel like a lot of the time it pressures me in the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Um, you know I don't want to be doing the thing to meet a challenge. I want to be doing the thing because it is the thing I need to do. Um, and. Where I've fallen down on challenges is when they start interfering with the thing I, I feel like I need to do. Mm-hmm. I talked about it a bunch in the in the challenge time. I had a fitness challenge last year, and um, the way that I would I would deprioritize it because it got in the way of writing, volunteering, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And so it, it creates additional pressure. Um, and I have enough of that. So I reject the challenge based format. Uh, of 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 that kind of thing, especially especially with regard to like daily stuff, mm-hmm. like it's one of those things where yes, I I have to learn to forgive myself, but at the same time, falling down on something day after day um, can be really disheartening, and it is not a thing that I need right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so I reject all challenges, except for of course this one. <laughs> <laughs> Which was Huck's idea. Yeah. No, I, I take blame for pushing this along. Credit. Uh, or, or credit, yeah. So it started off, um, I got um, through the YouTube algorithm um, front page kind of deal. I got turned on to a guy named, I think his name is Jonathan Young. And I believe we linked to him yep. uh, last season, but we can link to him down below as well. Um, where he did some really cool cover songs uh he's got a really great voice um he's very musically skilled so he, i think he plays all the instruments that if, i don't think he has any guest musicians unless he has a guest vocalist um but he just makes these really polished really great music videos usually covering disney songs or anime songs um and i'm like that's really cool and he puts out a video a week so he's and same with um leo I want to call it Mordecai, but I'm probably getting it wrong. But the guy from Frog Leap Studios, same deal. He puts out a new cover song every week. I don't think I can reasonably expect to do that anytime soon. I, okay. My skill gap is a little low, or at mm-hmm. least a little wide on that one. But I thought, wouldn't it be cool because Jim plays music? I do. In fact, I got a great demonstration of that when we went to Scotland. Because you <laughs> played you played a lot of music, and you you were versatile as hell. So I thought sure. it would be cool for for me to, with Jim's help, try to release music. I've always wanted to participate in like yours and Kaylee's. Not like yeah, you you have never join. you have never been in a Woot Suit Riot music video, False. except for <laughs> I was I'm getting there. Okay. Except for the Christmas video from yeah. I think it's two years ago. Where you 2014, f- where you yeah. fake played the bass yeah. while, we, while we played White Wine in the Sun. Yeah, I sang, I sang, you sang my there. part. You sang your part. But I did not play any of the music. But I had a lot of fun. I mean, I was very critical of myself. But I, I had a lot you of... Were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, and all of 2016, like we had the doodle challenge for myself where I was drawing every day. 
Um, in general, personally, I wanted. But you to be... cranked up to hard mode in the last like month, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. We we talked about it in the challenge finale that the hard mode of mine would be to do a sequential comic basically every day, and I, I'm like, well, I have 30 days left. I might as well do something so i yeah i started to to draw a little story of a little white blob like adipose thing but a little bit more person looking like a comic in the show yeah and um so yeah i want to be more creative so i thought it'd be really cool to do some sort of music challenge with with jim and kaylee so that way it was it was more diffuse like we're, it's not necessarily one person doing all the music although for the first little bit i imagine you and kaylee will burden or share, shoulder more of the burden from the music side of it um but it'll give me an excuse to to learn new stuff it puts pressure because i have to deliver on my side of whatever it is we're doing um and it just be a lot of fun to do a, a creative collaborative thing because that's that's the next step of my my kind of like creative challenge like but it last year was all about getting me to create more things but it was always in isolation mm -hmm. i think for me suggesting this challenge is the next step it's creating with other people and uh and yeah I, I just wanted to get in on what you and kaylee have going on without actually <laughs> without necessarily doing it live <laughs> what what kaylee and i have going on is deeply dangerous to your 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 sanity and your selfhood so it, do, it doesn't it doesn't surprise me yeah. I, I recommend a certain amount of limits yeah um yeah no i i'm really interested in this challenge uh i am good enough that i don't imagine having a lot of trouble delivering on a song every month which is what the challenge is going to be mm -hmm. it'll be um a new track probably on our soundcloud and a music video uh, on the last friday of every month mm -hmm. and our first song is wagon wheel yep that guy right there i was uh sarah wants wants me to sing it she's right. on a well you do not, love her and stuff i'm not saying no, wagon I love wheel. Wagon Wheel. It's I'm a not, good time. No, no, yeah. I'm not saying Wagon Wheel is necessarily a country song, but Sarah's really on a country kick, and she, sure. for some reason, she's like, I want you to sing Wagon Wheel. Justified however you want? I know. It's, I'm like, okay, good. We also um, sang Wagon Wheel a ton in Scotland. Yep. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, like for me, I want to use it as an opportunity to push myself as a guitarist. Hmm. Um, like we like later down the year, we've got a lot of like, like, we don't have the full year planned, which is why we're not like, ah. Hmm. But we've got some challenging finger-picking songs. Because mm -hmm. um, what I'm trying to push right now is nuance. Mm -hmm. And that means sort of being attentive to where my fingers are and, and improving my finger-picking and realizing that I will never be the lead guitarist I dream of being. But also um, playing songs that are fun that aren't the songs that get covered all the time. Mm -hmm. So we've got some I Fight Dragons in there. We've got some Jonathan Colton in there. Mm -hmm. Um, which I'm really excited about saying. Shockingly, we have some Carsey Blanton in that list because uh, we couldn't. Stan Rogers. Yeah. So uh, the Proclaimers. There's there's going to be a bunch of like weird fun stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm excited for the variety. I'm excited to work with you because you are a good singer. Within um, a within a narrow band, I'm sure. very good at what I do. I'm not particularly good above or below. Well, we're gonna make <laughs> you good at that too. Oh, uh, well, we're gonna try. Like how you get good is by being bad. Yeah, I guess that's true. So, you're gonna start. You're gonna start that, and we're gonna release some blooper videos. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be bloopers, <laughs> and there's probably gonna be some fun behind the scenes where I'm just absolutely ca I cannot hit a part. Yeah, you get there. Yeah, but uh, no, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, it dovetails with uh, a challenge I was thinking about doing but didn't, um, which I don't want to talk about too much because I might still do it, mm -hmm. but. Probably not next year, maybe the year after. Or for this year, rather. Mm -hmm. But, no, for us, it's like, like the reason we do challenges is so, like, like partly because we love making stuff, but partly because it's, it's about sort of hunting for that next level. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of different ways to do that. But having each other hold each other, having us hold each other accountable, mm -hmm. having... Like the interesting thing about this is, is last year it was, I hold you accountable for your doodles. You hold me accountable for my planking. Mm -hmm. um, this year we have to hold each other accountable, and we have to work together, mm -hmm. which I think will be better. Yeah, like we we are always stronger and smarter and wiser together. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, 
it is hard to plank at 5 a.m. Um, <laughs> when I have other things I need to do. But when I have made time to make music, that is the time that, that where that happens. So I'm intrigued to see how this goes. Mm. Now, of course, because we're always looking for the next level, because we cannot possibly only do one thing at a time, because <laughs> we're awful robot monster humans, <laughs> we also have an array of personal challenges. These are just stuff that we've been thinking about doing. Huck, you have like 5,000 of them? You uh, just wrote a book, and you're like, 5,000 things that I'm going to do this year. 5,000 might be a little strong. I did write them down in my notebook. Which is, um, which is I don't know, I know it doesn't sound thick, listeners, but it's thick. Well, I mean, it is. It's, it's thick. Th- Hold it up. Hold it, it up. I mean, it's a standard feel. You hear that? You hear that? It's thick. It's very thick. It's, it's, it's heavier than it sounds. <laughs> God. It's heavy with ideas. Um, yeah, so, I mean, to, to recap last year, I mean... We've talked about it before. I have these elaborate birthday rituals. Um, and last year, my 2016 goals or 2016 challenges were to vlog every day mm-hmm. um, to get that kind of journaling habit down. Uh, take Facebook off of my phone to kind of disconnect myself. I found myself mindlessly scrolling through it far too much. Uh, and then outside of the doodle a day challenge i also wanted to read more and it i haven't done the full um kind of wrap up post because i haven't had my birthday yet as of filming uh i can say that the reading challenge went really well i mm-hmm. read some uh, 42 books uh, a little over thirteen thousand pages uh well i should say between books and audiobooks like it was both um which you some people have called me out that audiobooks don't count, but I'm going to count them. Um, That's like saying books in Braille don't count. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. So, um, so yes, I did very well for the reading challenge. Um, in terms of the... Um, um, blah, blah, blah. What was the first challenge I said? Because now my brain's starting to shut Facebook. down. Facebook. Oh, the Facebook one. The Facebook one was not a successful one. Um, I took the Facebook app off my phone, and then because uh, through the, the, the bar we, we use Facebook, uh, Facebook group for scheduling and whatnot, I would find myself logging into Facebook through the browser in order to check things out. And then I just never logged myself out, and so I would be able to open up the browser and scroll through it. Hmm. So until, I would say, November this was uh, available to me. So the the challenge was a failure up until November. In November, I took the browser off my phone. (laughs) So I have not been on Facebook on my browser. Or sorry, on my... Sorry, I have not been Facebook on my cell phone. Do you find any, like, changes from that? Uh, A few changes. Uh, So, yes, I spend less total time on Facebook. Um, At work, or during the week, from Monday to Friday, I uh, I have a a website blocker, and I block certain uh, websites like Facebook, Twitter, and whatnot during the daytime hours, from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. And then the last three or four weekends, because I was, you know, in the States, uh, and I, because I'm only on my my cell phone a lot of the time, the Mm -hmm. last couple weekends, I've gone the entire weekend without logging in. Um, and so it's, it's only in the last month where I've had more extended periods away from it. And it's the last two months that I haven't had it on my phone fully. So as a challenge in and of itself, it's a failure, but in general, I, it's been incredibly useful for me. I'm probably going to keep with it into the new year. I don't think I'm going to bring it back on my phone. I might bring the browser back because then there's a, um, a browser on the antivirus thing and it just sucks. (laughs) Um, Yeah, it would. Yeah, that's that's how that works. Yeah, uh, I got no. There's what was the third challenge? Like that's that's the bad thing. You had reading. It was reading and fitness. No, the fitness no. was not one. Oh, no, I remember. Wow. If only you had a notebook. Oh uh, no no it was uh, vlogging. Yeah, the vlog every day. The vlog every day uh, success. I have vlogged every day uh, this year. Uh, sometimes twice a day, but, uh, for the, I've hit at least every day and that was a success. And I'm going to carry that habit forward. May not be a daily vlog. Um, but I would like to keep doing it because as a journaling exercise, it's incredibly useful. Jim is trying to convince me to do uh, a public facing vlog. 
Yeah. I don't know if I'll do it, especially because... made 300 videos. Yeah. Um, I often vlog without a shirt on. I'd have to put a shirt on. I don't know if I like Dude, that. Dude, have you been on YouTube? Lots of people vlog without a shirt on. I guess that's true. I think only twice I've vlogged naked. I do remember at least twice where I've done that. It's a thing. I just never point the camera down. That's right, listeners. We're not naked. Well, from the waist up or not. You don't know. Anyways. Um, but I've, I've gone... Yeah, you've got like a billion of them here. Yeah, let, me, let me see your notebook. Let me see your notebook. Okay, yeah, um, you, you talk for a little bit. You've got... It's the bottom half list. The bottom half. Here we are. Photography challenge. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a, a picture a day. Better sleep. Yeah, I've been averaging about uh, five and a half hours of sleep, which is affecting all sorts of different areas of my life. Ooh. And I make a lot of bad decisions. For example... I am making bad decisions right now. Yeah, for example, we talked about this super, super briefly in the... I think the icebreaker is where we started talking about it. Um, recently, I have hooked up a light timer to my Wi-Fi router to shut off my internet to my house at 11.45 at night. This is in an effort in order to get me to get off of devices so that I can go to bed at a reasonable time. Because otherwise, I stay up until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning on YouTube. It also works because you don't have roommates. Because if I tried that here, they'd, mur they'd murder yeah, me. Yeah, when I move back in with Sarah, I have no idea how this is going to work. <laughs> so, um, more time with friends? More time with friends, yeah. I, be Because I work so much at the bar and I'm tired all the time. I, other than when I see Jim, but this is almost a business thing. Um, Jim and I don't really count, but I don't really spend a lot of time with friends in a social setting. No, I'm just reading your notebook. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, anyway. So, yeah, mine... Mine are, mine are weird. I, I'm also doing some video stuff. I'm trying to diversify my, my content creation a bit. Um, where As with every year where you have resolved to spend less and less time on the internet, I have resolved to spend more and more of my life on the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, run more d and I, uh, I have these notes. I, I, I was at a, an Onion Honey show uh, maybe a couple months ago, and I, and I sort of made a little calendar mappy thing of all the stuff I do and I was like okay what about everything I want to do and I like took another page and I like marked in all the days and like in a month mm -hmm. and I'm like okay here's the different videos I want to make and here's the different stuff I want to write and mm -hmm. here's the D&D &D I want to run and here's the time I want to have to myself and here's like I want to stream I haven't adjusted that for the fact that I kind of want to stream three days a week mm -hmm. um and I'm like, okay, and I want to stream, and I want to do this, and I want to... Cause I, I, and I like doing that because it helps me be honest about what I have time for and what I don't, and sort of, like, cut scope where I can. Like, I know I can't do everything that I want to do, but I can do a lot of it if if I have proven anything. And, and I know that trying to do a lot of it makes me happy. Mm -hmm. But I also recognize that I need to spend more time on self-care. Mm -hmm. Um... Like my my we we did a podcast on panic attacks, not that long ago, a couple months, mm -hmm. and uh, and yeah, like my panic attacks are more frequent and more intense than they have ever been. Like it is, it is very real and it is a thing that I need to like take steps on, mm -hmm. because left unattended, I don't know, but it's it, it ain't fun. Let me tell you that. Mm -hmm. So, like there 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 is a there is a balance in pressure and expectation um the panic attacks are not caused by these things but they're probably not helped by them either mm -hmm. but so I, I need to like i'm going to spend some time on some on some self-care stuff um and that's partly why i want to reject the like challenge model is um you know i don't want to i don't want to come in six months into 2017 and be like actually i bombed out on my challenge because i had a nervous breakdown mm -hmm. um because that sounds awful <laughs> and that's not a podcast that I want to make. No. But I do want to make more videos. I want to write more music. I want to do more stuff. The Plan 2.0 is intimidating. Mm -hmm. But it is achievable. Mm -hmm. um, but it needs it needs a bit more sort of like time for selfhood and time for like being a person. Mm -hmm. I maybe want to learn how to hang out with people again. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I really remember how to do that. 
it's complicated. I see people and they're just like hanging out with friends and I'm like, why is nobody taking notes? What are you brainstorming? I tried. I tried uh, a couple, a couple, well, a couple weeks ago now. Um, I was hanging out with some people and then we spent three hours writing comedy sketches that might actually get filmed. And we're like, I don't even do sketch comedy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, here's a bunch of sketch comedy related stuff that's, that's like it's funny in the sense that it's kind of funny it like it trades on a setup and a punchline and you know it's really short and i'm like huh and it might actually be a thing hmm. so i don't want to i don't want to talk about it quite yet um but i am still going to be pursuing some personal fitness challenges uh, i haven't quite articulated what those are going to be but I might do that on my own challenge channel and sort of try and make it more low key than putting it on the podcast. Mm-hmm. But, and possibly something other than planking. <laughs> Cause yeah, planking sucks. No, I love planking. Yeah. Planking's amazing. Don't ever let anyone tell you th- anything bad about planking. I love planking. Like there will be, there, it will involve planking, but, um, it will, it needs to be more than planking. I think with challenges, um, it's the same with a fitness routine. Uh, you can't just use somebody else's routine and not reflect on how well it fits with you. Hmm. And so doing challenges for the sake of doing challenges, being productive for the sake of being productive, um, exercising when you don't enjoy it for the sake of exercising is just not a good way to go about it. Um, it's not resilient. It's not resilient. If I learned anything from the failures of my challenge, like the things that I did last year, um, like exercise, for example, uh, once I got back from Scotland, I went twice. Then I started teaching. And then in the, the span of teaching over the 15 week term, I went to the gym twice, I think. So basically since as of filming mid December, since the, since Scotland, you know, 20, 2016, which was mid July, I've gone to the gym maybe four times. I found that my system was not sufficiently resilient to be able to handle these kinds of stresses Mm -hmm. on it. And that was a learning for me. That was something where I I discovered uh, a weak point. Um, There was a fragility, an inherent fragility in my system that could not handle that kind of stress, that kind of stress put on the system that is. Um, And so, yeah, when you have a system and it falls apart, if you are subject to... The kind of emotions that get bound up in um, falling off the wagon. You know, you can't give yourself, you can't forgive yourself, you can't give yourself permission to, to fall off the wagon and then get back on guilt free. You know, if, if anything gets happens that way, then the challenge is not a good. We well, can just fit link to anti fragile in the. Uh... Like uh, Taleb? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. In the show notes. Actually, I read... I was going to say, like, I, you're basically just quoting the book jacket yeah. for anti-fragile. Sorry, yes. I read that book in, in 2016. That yeah, was we one, talked about it. That was one of the ideas that got filtered into my system. So you you have, yes, called me out on, on <laughs> plagiarizing his <laughs> ideas. But, um, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Um, so we're going to be back uh, next... Or not next Monday, um, but two weeks from now mm-hmm. with our 2016... Uh, perspectives. There's going to be some heavy shit in there, probably. Yeah. 2016 was awful. 2016 was awful. Um, and then we'll be back on January 27th mm-hmm. with a music video. That's right. Our first release of the 2017 Wootsuit Music Challenge. Ooh. It should be fun. But until then, um, as always, leave your challenges in the comments. Let us know what you're doing. Um, give us places to keep you accountable and to see all the cool stuff you do because we like you and you're cool. Mm-hmm. Um, find us on Twitter, um, in the show notes. I'm a concept crucible. Mm-hmm. RJ Huckle over here. Wood suit for the general channel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We do lots of things on the internet, and we like to share them with people. We do. Well, I do. You do one thing on the internet, and it's this. <laughs> Me too. My Instagram is totally full of stuff. Fair, actually. Follow Huck's Instagram for pictures of his dog. Yeah, lots of pictures. He was adorable. Of him. He is pretty cool. Anyway, it's very late. Yeah. I'm Jim. I'm Ryan. And we're signing off. Make 2016. Sorry. No. Make 2017 awesome. What year is it? I don't know anymore. Stay, Stay awesome. awesome. Wow, the <laughs> unison there. That was it was like it was like per, there was like it was like beat. Stay 
So yeah, we are great minds. Did you know I was gonna say that? No, I because you caught me by surprise. Uh, I didn't think you were gonna say it, but I figured I should say it because you might not say it. Yeah, and and it's our thing. 